Hi everyone, this is uh, Anuradha Srinivas Radhavan, author of the book Machine Learning, which was published by Wiley in the year 2019, Jan 2019. Now regarding myself, uh, I am an academician in the University of Mumbai with around uh, two decades of uh, experience and uh, I'm mainly into areas of uh, data mining, machine learning, data warehousing, mining, soft computing and uh, recently I've extended to machine learning along with uh, deep learning. So this motivated me to write a book on machine learning because usually when it comes to uh, machine learning, most of the starters or you say undergraduate students who have uh, uh, not having a clear idea about uh, the concept of machine learning, they find it uh, quite difficult or comprehensive to go with the heavy math which is uh, present in the subject. So I wanted to bring it to the level of uh, naive users to be very user friendly and uh, to give them an idea about how Python can help in uh, machine learning. So if you see the topics which is covered in this book, it has some uh, basics of machine learning, then um, how the model is being evaluated and some basic uh, supervised learning algorithm and supervised learning algorithm, data pre-processing techniques with um, hands-on on Python code for all the basic uh, uh, data, my, uh, machine learning techniques. This is followed by the use of optimization techniques, which is also used as a part of a machine learning algorithms. Uh, so these are set of video lectures, which I have uh, uh, just made for the students to understand uh, step by step about the working of uh, each and every algorithm. So hope the student community in general and those who are interested in understanding the concepts of certain very important algorithms get benefited by these video lectures. So thank you, happy learning. So let me introduce the topic of expectation maximization algorithm. I referred to the textbook on data mining by Han Camber to prepare uh, the numerical as well as the corresponding um, uh, text for this particular concept. Now, there are some problems in which we are not aware about the cost behind a certain output. For example, if a product is being marketed and there are different campaignings for that particular market, we are not sure whether the buyer of the product is because of his uh, attraction towards campaigning of of uh, campaigning one or of campaigning two. Similarly, if your patient has recovered from a particular type of illness and he has been subjected to two different treatments, we are not in the position to correctly evaluate whether the patient is recovered because of treatment one or treatment two. Or a simple coin example, from two coins based on the outputs, we are not able to predict whether it was tossed by coin A or coin B. These are some set of examples for which we might require the expectation maximization algorithm. To start with, you would have known by this time the concept of clustering. Clustering is nothing but grouping. And most of you all who had studied in data warehousing and data mining, you would have seen simple distance metrics algorithms which can be used for clustering, like your k-means clustering, k-means algorithm. These type of clustering, the data points follow your hard clusters. That is, we have data points which is belonging to one and only one cluster. But in reality, we might encounter situations wherein the data points can belong to two clusters or two or more. Let us take an example. Now, we have 
two data sources. One is yellow in color, the other one is blue in color. The distribution of these data points is being represented by Gaussian which is shown over here. The estimate of mean and variance of yellow points as well as the blue points are also being displayed. If we do not know the data points, then it would be difficult to fit the Gaussian unless we know the parameters. In this case, if we know the color, we will be able to estimate the mean and standard deviation and we will be able to plot the data points. But if the color is not known, then it would be very difficult for us to determine the mean and the standard deviation. In such cases, your estimation maximization algorithm comes in handy. How do you work with it? The algorithm is pretty simple. You start with two randomly placed Gaussians with mean and standard deviation. And for each of the point, you try to estimate whether the probability, what is the probability of that point belonging to the first Gaussian or to the second Gaussian. Based on that estimate, you adjust the value of mean and standard deviation till such time all the points are assigned to either of the clusters. Iterate until convergence is reached. When the yellow coin is being tossed, it has nine heads and one type. Accordingly, we count the number of heads and tails of the blue coin as well as the yellow coin and find out what is the probability of heads in the throw of blue coin which is nothing but the count of heads upon the total number of heads plus counts plus tails which turns out to be 0.45 in this case and similarly the counts of heads upon the counts of heads plus tails which turns out to be 0.8 in this case. The coin problem was very easy because we know which coin was picked. What if we are given only the results of the coin tosses? Can we guess the percentage of heads? that each coin uh, yields the solution to this point is by using the concept of expectation maximization. How do we arrive at it? To start with, assign random averages to both the coins. For each of the five rounds of 10 coin tosses, first check the percentage of heads, Find the probability it is coming from each of the coin. Compute the expected number of heads using that probability as weight and multiply it by the number of heads. Record those numbers and recompute the new means for coin A and coin B. With this new means, go back to step 2 and iterate the entire process Till such time it converges. That is, there is not much discrepancy between the previous value and the next value or between two iterations. Now, before understanding the problem of solving your expectation maximization algorithm, let us see how the coin tosses behave. If we have only one head, a binomial distribution or a single coin when we use a binomial distribution we have one number of head but if you have two coins what are the combinations we have between heads and tails we have head 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 tail tail head and tail tail so the number of both uh, not having only tails is zero the number of having both heads, it is that is two heads is also one and one head and one tail in that combination will be 
tail head and head tail which is equal to 2. Increase that to 3 number of coins and when you jot it down you will be able to understand that whatever be the number of coins as you increase the number of coins provided it's a fair coin the distribution of the count of heads it follows a binomial distribution something to which which is described in this particular this is a typical example of binomial distribution with n equals 15 and probability p to be equal to 0.5. The coin is not a fair coin. You can see that it doesn't follow a normal distribution. It is cool. It is cute. So unfair coin is a curve which is cute either to the left or to the right. Now let us start by solving a simple binomial distribution problem. Let us start with the previous problem. We have 5 rounds of 10 coin tosses with the initial probability of the first coin to be 0.6 and the second colored coin to be 0.5 respectively. Let us take the first instance which is given in 1. In the first case, let us assume to start with that the first trial. Now, after the new probabilities are being computed, we have to estimate the likely number of heads and tails. How that has been estimated for the first case, that is A, the probability which was computed in the previous slide was 0.45 into the total number of heads which is 5 heads which turns out to be 0.45 into 5 which is 2.2 heads. And what about the count of tails? It is 0.45 into 5 tails which is 2.2 tails. Similarly, if it comes from coin B, the probability which was computed is 0 0.55. 0 0.55 into 5 heads turns out to be 2.8 heads and 0 0.55 into 5 tails turns out to be 2.8 tails. Hope you are clear till this point. How are we to go about with the algorithm? To start with, we assumed the value of the initial probabilities. Say in this case, it is 0 0.65 and 0 0.55. Then the likelihood was computed and I have shown on the previous slide how we arrived at the value of 0 0.45 and 0 0.55. This multiplied by the count of heads and count of tails will give you the count of heads and count of tails from coin A and count of heads and count of tails from point B. Next, for the second instance, which is having 9 heads and 1 tail, the same procedure is repeated for computing the likelihood of A and likelihood of B and the normalized probabilities are computed. This multiplied by the number of heads and number of tails, we arrive at this particular figure. This table is being computed and for ease, step by step, I have solved it in Microsoft Excel and I've put the slide, attached slide over here. You can check up with your values as and when you compute it. But please ensure you compute every step in order to understand the full essence of this particular algorithm. Now, this is one part of an expectation maximization algorithm and the algorithm which you have seen till now gives you an understanding that 
If you don't know the source, whether it originates from source A or source B, without knowing the probabilities, we can assume the probabilities to start with and iteratively we will be able to compute the probability of whether it is coming from source A or from source B. Now, the expectation maximization algorithm is a framework that approaches maximum likelihood or maximum a posterior estimates of parameters in statistical models. It is one which is used in fuzzy or probabilistic modeling based clustering. An EM algorithm starts with the initial set of parameters and iterates until the clustering cannot be improved. That is, until the clustering converges or the change is sufficiently small, which is less than a preset threshold. This example, which I'm going to explain from the slides following this, is how expectation maximization algorithm can be used in the case of soft clustering problem. Now, when expectation maximization is used for solving soft clustering problems, the two steps, the expectation step and the maximization step is as follows. The expectation step assigns objects to the clusters according to the current fuzzy clustering or parameters of the probabilistic clusters. The maximization step finds the new clustering or parameters that maximizes the sum of squared errors in fuzzy clustering or the expected likelihood in probabilistic model-based clustering. Now let us see how fuzzy clustering using expectation maximization algorithms applied to a set of six points A, B, C, D, E and F. The initial cluster centers are point A is considered as a cluster center C1 and point B was considered as cluster center C2. The for maximization step is the computation of the new cluster center which is nothing but given by the summation for each point O, W squared O comma CJ into O upon summation for each data point O, which is W squared O in O comma and multiplied with the corresponding cluster centers, we arrive at the new cluster centers, which are given by 8.47 and 512 respectively. Similarly, with respect to the cluster C2, we arrive at these two points. Now, this is tabulated for the set of three iterations. And for the three iterations, these are the values which are arrived for the different cluster centers in the maximization step. Further, for your reference, I have computed the values in the Excel sheet and I have attached attached to it. I request you all to compute it of your own to understand how the concept of expectation maximization algorithm. Now the algorithm stops when the cluster centers converge or the change is small enough. So another solved numerical as per the textbook of Tom Michel is also a shared along with the notes of expectation maximization.